This is your CBS News Baltimore Afternoon Update for February 26th. I'm Denise Koch. The man who killed a 91-year-old Baltimore County man is sentenced to 40 years in prison. Norman Albert Sr. was found dead in his Perry Hall home in August of 2021. Albert died from multiple injuries, including blunt force trauma to his head. Gary Parrish, who sometimes did odd jobs for Albert, was convicted of his murder last year. Albert's son, Norman Albert Jr., tells WJZ he still does not know why his father was killed. And the trial for one of two men charged in the 2021 fatal shooting of a Baltimore police officer and another man begins today. 34-year-old Elliot Knox faces two counts of first-degree murder. He is accused of shooting and killing city police officer Keona Holly in the early morning hours of December 2021 as she sat in her patrol car. Holly, a 39-year-old mother of four, died a week later. On the same day Officer Holly was shot, police say Knox shot and killed 27-year-old Justin Johnson. In October, a jury convicted Trayvon Shaw, the other man charged in the crimes of killing Johnson. He will be sentenced in that murder next month. It is not clear when he will be tried for Holly's fatal shooting. And another big event is returning to Baltimore. This morning, city leaders announced the Baltimore Book Festival is coming back this year. Mayor Brandon Scott and Councilwoman Odette Ramos joined the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts in announcing the 25th anniversary of the Book Festival. It will be held in and around Waverly Main Street during the last weekend in September. We're excited to see everyone come out to support the Baltimore Book Festival because we know Baltimore is a book town. Now, the event always draws a crowd eager to highlight our local authors, bookstores, the Pratt Library System, and the city's diverse neighborhoods. This will be the first time for the festival since before the pandemic. And that's your afternoon update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Denise Koch.